Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. There was a 6.7 earthquake off the coast of the Philippines. Um, it was revised by USGS to a 6.4. The earthquake occurred at 11.02 a.m. local time. Um, people did not panic. You know, they uh, went outside, evacuated buildings in a very calm way. There was um, an aftershock. 5.5 much shallower than the initial earthquake the 6.4 now the 6.4 was 21.8 miles in depth uh, the aftershock of 5.5 was 7.4 miles in depth there was also a 4.9 another 4.9 and a 4.6 now that earthquake was actually much deeper uh, closer to the uh, trench, the fault line there where we got subduction going on. That was 21 miles in depth. The magnitude 6.4 was um, about 42 miles east of Bakulin. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. 29 people sent in reports to USGS. And here you can see it was widely felt. Yeah. Well, closer to the epicenter. Right there, we got intensity level 5, which would indicate light damage. Here on EMSC, there are several reports of feeling it. Um, there at Maddie, so they were outside and felt like they, they were cord in a kettle. Another one said it was strong shaking. Um, swinging of hanging lamps, slight oscillation on the windows and doors. Another one from Bayville, so it lasted for two minutes. More than a minute also from Dayville. Long steady shake, mild shake for a minute or two. Rocking for over a minute, yeah. You know, probably if you're wondering when it keeps on shaking for so long, if it's going to stop or increase, you know, for uh, the magnitude. Um, another one, which was 227 kilometers southwest, which is about 141 miles. Clinton, I felt a very gentle rocking and wondered if it was my imagination. Um, another one even farther. Slight movement, felt underfoot, but not for long. Another one said they felt dizzy, and that's often reported by people when you have earthquakes. They felt dizzy. Now, on October 10th of last year, there was a 7.4 earthquake. That earthquake killed seven people. It also included structural collapses. Um, yeah, a lot of damage, a lot of injuries. Even hospitals were evacuated during that earthquake. You might remember that. I'm sure I, I did post about it. Drawn out in red here is the Philippine Trench. And most of these earthquakes are caused by um, the subduction of the Philippine Sea um, Plate, um, you know, going westward. Yeah, sending prayers to everybody. Yeah, they're often hit by some really big earthquakes. But this time, they didn't panic. Yeah, they, I guess maybe because they didn't really feel the shaking too much, other than in that one location where they might have some damage. So do you have friends and families that live there? And did they feel it? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.